Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. We are working on our bubble teas. Uh, we just finished the body in the first part of my video tutorial and now I will show you how to make uh, the eyes, the heart and the straw. They are so cute and uh, so soft. I really love these bubble teas in love. And uh, let me remind you that the written pattern is available for free on my blog. And the pattern notes are in the description box right below this video tutorial. So let's make a magic ring and now chain one and work six single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five and six. And the last one, please don't finish it. There are two loops on your hook. And let's prepare the new yarn, the white color yarn or cream color. And pull the loop through the loops on your hook. Perfect. Then make a single crochet into the magic ring with this white yarn. The working yarn, the brown one, just leave as it is. We will use it later on. So one single crochet with the white yarn. Now tight the end of your magic ring as much as you can to close the hole and make a slip stitch in the last stitch. And I will make an invisible slip stitch. So pull, cut the yarn and pull the end. And then insert the hook in the last, in the first brown stitch and pull the white end through the stitch. And then insert the crochet hook on the top of white single crochet and pull the end through it, through the top to back of your project. So we nicely join the row of single crochet stitches. We nicely made the white single crochet. And now let's work with the brown, dark brown yarn and make slip stitch in the last brown stitch, slip stitch in the white single crochet stitch and slip stitch in the first brown stitch. So there are three slip stitches. Perfect. And we really nicely closed the eye. Okay, now you can cut the end and leave a longer tail for sewing the eye on the body later on. Super and pull the end and uh, yeah again we can make an invisible join to pull the end through the top of the uh, first single crochet. Okay so now it's it's really great. And yeah, <laughs> you can sew the eye on the body. I think, yeah, you can choose the position. Of course, make the second eye the same, the same size. And yes, <laughs> so, yeah, I think this is great. Now I will show you how to make the straw again start with a magic ring, make a chain and then chain um, then um, four single crochet stitches into the magic ring. It will be really easy. You will have only four single crochet stitches in the magic ring and then work one single crochet in the first single crochet. No, the second round will be a bit tricky, but the next 
be much more better. So work one single crochet in each single crochet around and make sure you have four single crochet stitches. Okay, and work in spiral rounds. Don't close the round with a slip stitch and let's make five rounds. Of course you can make your straw longer or shorter. Yeah, I love to pull it like this or use uh, the, the end of my crochet hook and put it into uh, the, the project in this straw. Okay, so shape it <laughs> like this and make sure you have four single crochet in each round and let's make five rounds. Again, leave a longer tail for sewing the straw on the top of the bubble tee and I hide uh, the second end from the magic ring into the straw. So I didn't put uh, the stuffing into it, just uh, the end of the, the yarn. And now it's time to make the heart, start a um, magic ring and then chain three, yarn over twice and work into the magic ring and make a treble. Still work into the magic ring and then yarn over twice and let's make second treble then chain one still work into the magic ring and let's work three double crochets one two and three three double crochets then chain one and one treble and we are in the middle of the heart on the bottom part so one treble and chain one again three double crochet stitches into the magic ring one two and three then chain one and two trebles into the magic ring one treble the second one and chain three one two three and slip stitch in the magic ring to close the heart and <laughs> we are done we are done guys again tight the end and shape the heart. I love it. It's so cute and it's super easy project. You can make this heart on any project you like. <laughs> really cute little heart. And again um, leaf longer tail for sewing so we have the heart finished we have two eyes we also have the straw and uh, now we can sew the things and the bubble tea and I really love to pin before sewing to pin all thing then I will sew and I will meet you once I have it finished 
guys, this is it. <laughs> what do you think? It's so cute. Now I will sew the smile. You can make any smile you like. Wider or really small. I will sew it and I will use the brown color which I used for the eyes, okay? It's a really dark brown and one, two, three, yeah, I will make it along five stitches going a bit lower one stitch lower and two stitches up and then back into the middle yeah. is it cute <laughs> <laughs> yeah and one more time Yeah, it's perfect. So, I'm really curious what smile will you sew? Perfect. <laughs> happy, happy. Happy bubble tea. Happy bubble tea in love. I think this could be a really nice present for everyone you love it could be also a valentine gift or christmas present for birthdays or so wow yeah <laughs> uh, and now i will sew the straw on the top so one, two, three, four on the fourth row. And uh, sew it firmly, stitch to stitch. Stitch to stitch around and again you can shape it a little bit. Then pull the yarn through the top of the straw and from bottom top and from top to bottom and tight it a little bit to shape the position of the straw this is it so we are done <laughs> we are done my crochet friends if you will have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me you can put the comment right below this video tutorial. You can reach me on my Facebook page, Pinterest and Instagram as well. You will find the links in the description box right below this video tutorial. Now it's time to measure the bubble tea. So you can make any size as uh, small, medium or large depends on bubble tea you love I think this one is uh, some medium one it measures 24 centimeters 10.5 inch and the width is the width is um, 18 centimeters 7 inches 
and this drawer measures 5 centimeters 2 inches and this is it so you already know how to make this really cute bubble tea bubble tea in love you can make it with any colors you like and you can make so many bubble teas for your friends for your loved ones for your kids they will definitely love them <laughs> so i made these two <laughs> super cute so guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you like it please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel the written pattern is for free on my blog and i really love your feedback so please let me know how your bubble teas turned out guys wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now bye bye